it's Sasa and today we're going to be I'm going to doing a sewing tutorial on how to make a made uh, Lolita headband so this is what this is the one that we're going to be making so it consists of pretty much a base plus some ruffles and lace so it's actually pretty simple to do if you buy a bunch of pre-made lace like this it can be really fast because you just sew everything onto place you can add bows you can add flowers you can add bells there's lots of different things that you can do so I take it through step by step and um, yeah so I hope you enjoy this tutorial okay so to cut the fabric out we need the base so this is like pretty much the headband part so we're gonna cut two pieces right here 12 and a half by 3 inches, so we have this. And then we have the large ruffle piece, which is this big black right here. So this ruffle piece is 36 inches by 8 inches. Then we have the two ribbon for the side ties, and these are both 17 inches long. As well as, um, I'm going to use this for extra trim. You can buy in the fabric store, normally they have a bag of like a bunch of scraps of a, different kinds of lace in them. So there's like little short random edges that you can use, so you don't have to buy. Um, because lace and trim like this is actually pretty expensive for like, this full price is $2.29, um, so $2.29 per meter, and which is quite a lot. Um, so if you just want to get a small things just to make only one headband, because I make a lot, so I need more stuff, but um, so you can just buy these bags. First thing we're going to do, we're going to take the ribbon and we're going to sew it down here. We're going to take each ribbon and don't pin it in the middle, pin it a little bit more to one side. Okay, and then we're just going to sew this down. We're going to put this, um, sew these two white parts together and then flip it inside out, okay? So what I recommend you doing, because if you just sew it like this, there's a high chance that you're going to sew on the ribbon and when you flip it, it's going to get all caught and then waste your time. So what I do, I just fold this ribbon inside the center. Just like this. And then you take a pin and you pin it down. So that way, when you sew on the outside, you're not gonna touch the ribbon, okay? And it's annoying when you have to, when you catch something, then you have to go and undo it. We're gonna go sew all the way around here, 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 here. Make sure you leave a small opening over here, so that way you'll be able to turn it inside out. And I'm gonna sew quite a small seam. It's only a one centimeter seam allowance. Okay, so after we sewed all the way around, we left a little opening here. So right now, we're gonna go inside, since we still have that pin, fish through and first of all remove the pin and then you can grab the ribbons like this and you can use this ribbon to help you flip it inside out here for the corners what you do just get like a pencil or a chopstick and then you just poke the edges out so that you can have the nice square ended if you don't like square ends you can also instead of having it square you could have cut this as a curve as well so it's totally up to you don't worry about closing the hole yet because later we're probably we're going to sew a piece of lace here so that will close it all at one shot for the really long ruffle what we're going to do is fold it in half so hot dog style all the way like this okay with the right sides together so this is the right side fold it in half you can just pin this down Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to sew all the way across, also with a one centimeter seam. Okay, so we're going to sew all the way across, but make sure in the center you leave an opening. Okay, so here right now I'm in the center, so I'm just going to backstitch. And move this out. Okay, so now we're going to leave a small opening here, and I'm going to start like about here. So here it's open. So what we're going to do, you see where this, this we sewed right here on the seam? We're going to open this out and turn it this way. Okay, so we want the seam in the center. Because this is going to be the right side and we don't want to see um, the seam like on the side because then the ruffle will be more even, right? So we're going to go like this. So try and get this in the center. 
pin this down and then we're gonna sew across this seam right here and we're gonna do the same for the other side after we sewn off the seams so before we flip it inside um, you see the seam all the way along here it's helpful if it's really thick you can just use your scissors and clip it down because this will help it make it easier when we're gathering on the other side okay so now we find the opening and then we just flip this inside out so now this is what it looks like. So this is the front and this is the back. So we have seam, seam here. So that means we're gonna gather this and the, both these edges will be really nice. For this part, don't iron this flat because if you iron it flat, this edge will become really tight. And we wanna have a um, some more air in it. So that's why we don't iron it so that when you go like this, it's a bit more like puffy and more soft looking. The hole that we left open, don't bother closing it. It's really unnecessary, just a waste of time. So forget that um, because this is going to be on the underside. And it's not going to cause any problems anyways. It's not going to fray. So now we have a long tube. So what we're going to do is two rows of stitching on the longest length of a straight stitch. So boom, 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 right down the center. So we want two straight lines all the way down. Um, don't back stitch and then we're going to pull the threads to gather this all up and it'll be all nice and evenly scrunched up. I've already sewn on one side and when you're sewing like there's the center seam here you can use that as a guideline so when I'm sewing I feel the outer edge of my presser foot so this thing right here you can feel the bump right you can feel this bump here so then you you know where to sew. Um, don't sew directly on this seam that's why we cut it thinner because if you sew right there and then you try to gather it, the fabric is extra thick so it's more difficult to gather. Now we're going to gather it so we take the two top threads, we're holding the two top threads here. Now you're going to gently pull it and you use your left hand to just glide the little gathers downwards started pulling on the top threads don't pull the bottom threads because if you do that it's gonna lock into the lock into place and you won't be able to do any more gathers so we're gonna continue gathering this until it's the width of our, our, our band because we're gonna sew this on top right here so we have to gather this all until it fits um, so it fits the width of our headband okay so once you finish gathering it to about the same length as your headband okay so Check that if your ribbon, because my ribbon is a one way, so this is the shiny side and the non shiny side, so make sure it's the right side, not the wrong side, so up here. So you're going to place the two ends where the ribbon meets, okay? So this is where it's going to start, so about here, and we're going to pin this into place, okay? And then the other end will be on this end. Okay, we want this ruffle to be more towards one side, right? Okay, it's not in the center of the headband. So we go along and you pin this whole thing in place. Okay, and then we're going to go down the center and we're going to zigzag stitch the ruffle onto the headband. So all this stitching, it doesn't look so attractive, so we would like to cover it up. So... You can use, this is where that bag of random scraps come, uh, scrap laces come in handy because you could choose what you want. Um, you can either, look, this is like a white ribbon you can choose, but I'm going to use this. This is nicer. So we're going to sew this piece. So, you're gonna, so depending on what you're sewing, you just straight stitch on both sides. Like if you have a basic ribbon, it's the same thing. You straight stitch on both sides. Also, if you want a uh, really good place to find a ribbon, go to the dollar store. They have a lot of cheap ribbon that you can just get and then you can make your um, make your headband. The last step is I'm going to sew one more piece of lace to this bottom edge. So I'm going to sew this white lace here onto the bottom edge like, like this. And so this is where we're going to close off this little hole right here. So that would be the last step. But obviously, if you just like it this way, you can finish off like this. You don't have to add the extra lace. I'm just adding a second layer of lace because I think it looks good. So that's what's great about this thing. As you make it, you can just get bits of your lace and place it on and see what looks nice or what you like. And you can just modify it, right? So I just pinned up back this ruffle so it's easier to sew the second layer. See, look, I've got the first layer and I'm just putting a second layer. There's that. I added the two layers of layers and here's the ruffles. Make sure like you kind of like scrunch it up because if it's like flat like as it's pressed in a book it's not so nice so you can just ruffle this up right and you can either wear it as this way is the front or that's the 
that's the front it's reversible right so happy I got my custom made labels so nice okay so that so the last step um, so this is the two sides we're gonna add some bows so you get your ribbon and normally before cutting the ribbon I like to tie the bow and I want to see like approximately how big I want to make the bow so we take two loops cross under pull this out You can like adjust the size of the bow, like how big you want and how long the ties you want it. And this is going to be hand sewed to the edge like that. This is my bow. So my bow, I cut my ribbon about 28 inches long. All the ends of your ribbon, you should get um, a lighter so or a candle. And you just go this over the fire real fast and like squash it down. So then it won't fray because it seals off the ends. Because if not, like eventually this is all going to like come undone. So I've been making quite a lot of these lately because um, I'm getting ready for the anime convention. So here's another example. This one is to match a dress. So I've actually used this black velvet. So this is nice. Um, this is, um, you can add bells. Jingle, jingle, jingle. Uh, if you're interested in any of them, I'm going to be doing a photo shoot with all of these very soon. And it'll be on my Facebook page. So you can um, comment on which ones you're interested in. And I can even make you a custom one. So if you like pink or purple or whatever, I can make you one. Um, and you can also email me directly. So that's the end of this tutorial. So I hope you learned something and it was like easy enough to follow through. So if you still have further questions, feel free to comment or send me um, an email or whatever. So thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.